<laughs> Come on up here. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. One of the most influential things in the world, uh, Denise, yep. is colour. Colour affects a lot of our lives, okay? It affects the way we feel, the way we think. For example, red is the colour of love, of passion and of lust. Blue, the colour of peace and tranquility in the oceans. But also the colour of loneliness. Green, the colour of Mother Nature. The colour of Earth but also the colour of a green-eyed monster, of greed and of envy. I'm going to ask you to choose one of these colours for me in a few seconds' time. Okay. That choice will tell me a lot about you. Go ahead, Denise. Choose a colour for me. Just pick me envelope. Tell me which one. The red one. The red one. Are you sure? Are you nervous? I am now. <laughs> Don't open it just yet. You could have chosen any of these envelopes. Would you agree that's fair, yes? The blue one. I didn't want you to choose this one. I made it unappealing to you. Okay. That's why I wrote, do not choose. Any recyclers? Tough shape. <laughs> Green. Again. Do not choose. Open up that one. And read out in a very clear voice what it says. I can help you if you like. It says, do choose, especially if you're wearing a white top, black trousers and shoes. Of course, a pearl bracelet on your right arm too. That would be absolutely fantastic. Give this woman a fantastic round of applause. <laughs> Nicola. I want you to think of one of these words in a few minutes' time. The kind of word that I want you to think of is something a bit different. The kind of word that's hyphenated at the end of a line. Do you see there's a few of them here? Uh, commands, jigsaw, there's a few on each line. That's the kind of word I want you to think of. Okay. So, call stop whenever you like. Stop. This month. Stop. <laughs> think of any hyphenated word that runs over the edge of the line on this page. And just think of it, don't tell me it, on this page here. Have you done that? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Have you, don't sort of me, love. Have you got one? Yes. Yes. And repeat it twice in your mind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Think of it and concentrate on it. You're going to choose the page number for our friend here. 164. Turn to that page in your book, and when you're there, look at the first word on that page. Make sure the, the page... Make sure the page is full of different words. It is, yes? Yes. Good. Great. Close the book. You are concentrating on that word, though, yes? The first one, yes. Have you done that? Good. Stick the books on the floor. Fantastic. Take me by the wrist, not by the hand. And by the wrist, please. OK. I want you to stare forward. This is a little bit serious. I want you to look straight forward, but close your eyes. Because I'd like you to both imagine you're standing at the back of a schoolroom. At the front of the schoolroom is a large chalkboard. You're now at the chalkboard. Pick up coloured piece of chalk. Think of the colour of it. Am I supposed to be doing this? <laughs> no, it's just a bit of Alan Bennett for you. <laughs> and in your mind, pick up a coloured piece of chalk and start writing your word on the board now. Starting off with the first letter. And the second. And so on until you finish the word, and put a full stop at the end, please. Good. Hands by your sides. Which colour piece of chalk did you go for? Purple. And which colour did you go for? Red. Purple and red. So you're, uh, you, you're quite an analytical person. Yes? You, you th people tell you you think too much. Yes. Yes, OK, good. Think of your word. This is a short word. Don't give me any more clues. OK. I think I've got it, but I am dyslexic, so I may have spelt it using the wrong letters. <laughs> What's your word? Yes. Yes. Is that how you would spell it? Yes. It is fantastic. Give me a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a seat. Are you all right? Yes. Good. Yes. You can't stop saying it now. Yes. Yeah, you'll be saying it later. <laughs> What? Nothing. 
You okay? Yes. You've been outside before. What? what? <laughs> Bless her. I shouldn't pick on the ones who don't have mirrors on their houses. <laughs> Think of your work. Actually, tell you what, can you just hold that like this, either side, and close your eyes and imagine the word. I'm not going to take the mic, seriously, just, seriously for a second, just concentrate on the word, don't change your mind. Don't try and screw me over, I'm trying to work with you here. Think of the first letter. Something like, and keep going. What word are you thinking of? Marriages. Marriages, I think that will do. Give a round of applause. Okay. In our necks, there is an artery which carries the main supply of blood from your heart to your brain. Pierce it, you have minutes to live. It's here. Place the gun right there now. <laughs> Don't pull the trigger until I tell you. Are you in firing position? Don't fire until I tell you. I trust you. <laughs> On the count of one, I want you to pull the trigger. You'll have to push hard against my neck. Ready? Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> Thank God for that. OK, one down, another one to go. I think for the final one, you deserve to see my face. So for that reason, I'm going to take the blindfold off. However, I am not allowed to change my mind, and I will not turn around. Get in firing position, please. And place the gun. Here. Oh. <laughs> Don't fire until I tell you. When I get to one, pull the trigger. Three, two, one.